G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and I just want to talk to you today a little bit about some of the things that I consider riding basics and for me one of the big riding basics is your horse has to be able to walk, trot and canter on a loose rein and pretty much use the whole arena and the reason I would like horses to be able to do that is because they're controlling themselves. I really don't like to influence them too much um, until they have control of themselves and of course you've got to influence them a little bit to teach them how to control themselves but this is yeah, this is my off-the-track thoroughbred ringer and I'm going to ride him around today with nothing on his head just to show you what I'm talking about but let's say I was you know I'm not saying you should have to ride your horse with no nothing on his head but I'd like this is kind of a bit of a test can I walk can I trot and can I walk trot and basically can I walk trot and canter around this arena and not be influencing this horse in any way and so I'm riding him around bridless right now but I am not influencing him meaning I'm not you know he's not taught to ride bridless so I'm not steering him with my legs I'm not steering with my seat I'm just going wherever he goes and I'd like these horses to be able to basically just use the whole arena like you know if they're attracted to the gate or if they're spooky at this end or whatever they're probably not ready to do a whole lot of other stuff. <clears throat> Let's go. So he's been down there, he's been up here. I'll just go for a little bit of a canter here. Come on, mister. Let's go. And so I'd like him to be able to just cruise around. And let's say I had the bridle on. But I'm doing it without the bridle just to show you that I don't have a bridle on. So one of the basic suite, they've got to be able to cruise around the arena. Walk, trot, and canter basically use the whole um, arena and, and also be rather influenceable, which means he's not just cantering around, cantering a million miles an hour. You know, if I wanted to sit right here, I could probably sit him, have him come back to a walk, maybe even a stop right there. But the big thing is, I'd like those horses to be. Like I said, to where they can walk, trot, canter on a loose rein, which means I'm not influencing them in any way. It's kind of like if I turned him loose out here and he had a bit of a run around, he'd run around exactly the same. For me, that's a basic. So I'd like these horses to be able to carry the saddle around and me around like I'm not even here. So he's not worried about me in the slightest bit, okay? He's not sluggish and saying no, he's not worried and running around. and. Once they get to that point, and like I said, it's not about bridleless. I'm just showing you that I'm not, you know, if I had the bridle on, you might think, well, you're doing something with it. I'm not doing anything with it. Um, but I really feel if you can get this part working really well, then when you try to start to do other things, your horse is very, very relaxed about you being on them. They're very influenceable, just like you saw right there. I could slow from a canter to a halt. Um, and, I, and I have not... I basically haven't done much with this horse except, and I've had him for a year and a half, uh, except steer him left and right. That's about having him walk, trot, canter, steer him left and right. I haven't really done a whole lot with him. Um, and I, I've haven't, I haven't ridden him for quite a bit lately, but he's at the point now where I think, okay, now I'm gonna start to add some things. And I've, you know, if I'm, I'm really big on the saying, the horse needs to control themselves. If I'm riding this horse around and I'm having to use the, the reins, whether it's a bridle or a side pull or whatever you're riding them in, if you're having to use the reins to stop them from running off or to stop them from going over to the gate or to keep them from running away from that end or whatever, and you are trying to teach them other things those things tend to get in the way of teaching them other things. But right now he feels like he's at the point where I could start to add to what he's doing as far as his education and he's, he's gonna be perfectly, um, perfectly well prepared to receive that information. So I hope that gives you something to think about. See you guys next time.